Hey guys, what is up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I am back with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary for you guys to watch and enjoy and comment and share and interact with. This one I have some pyro gameplay on payload upward. Uh, this was just a random lobby match that I played and I've been playing a lot of lobby matches recently and um, basically the main aim of playing a lobby match is to play with higher experienced people and it really does one help you get better because the people you are playing against are better at the game so you sort of pick up tactics to get better and be at sort of their skill level and also to have a team that will cooperate and work together such as the medic actually going to be healing people other than the heavy and just everybody working together using voice communications instead of just on a public server where people are just running around aimlessly and there's about seven snipers this time with Highlander it is one of each class and that is why I love lobby matches and Highlander matches so much just because everything is much more coordinated and it's a much more enjoyable time whenever you do play a Highlander match and uh, this one I've I, I realized that I shouldn't be such a nice guy in Team Fortress 2 so let me explain what I mean you'll see a bit later on that um, basically I'll go out of my way usually like putting my life at risk to save somebody else's uh, for example you see me try run pretty much into the battle to extinguish and try help a fellow teammate and the medic just and the heavy and the soldier were all just sort of stood there watching as this random I think it was a demo man and I were just stood in the middle of the battle being absolutely demolished and they weren't doing anything to help and it sort of makes me feel like I shouldn't be a good guy pyro where I try go do something useful and helpful for the team and then they just like I just die really easily and you know what I still had a good time playing this lobby I'm not going to say that I didn't I did enjoy playing this and just having a generally fun time because I've played about uh, 20 lobbies in the past two days now and I'm just having a bunch of fun uh, playing lobbies pretty much most of the videos you'll see now will be lobbies uh, just because they're much more enjoyable than pub games uh, especially in my eyes to play and also watching them I find lobby matches a lot more um, enjoyable obviously I'm not the best at this game so I do die a lot which is why I cut out all my deaths in this game but uh, yeah, but I think this is it where I, I try to run away and I just sort of get left behind. I get a random deflect kill, which was awesome. And I'm just here. The pyro is chasing me down. Uh, everybody else is here. They're running away. I'm trying to extinguish that guy. Instead of saving my own life, I wanted to extinguish um, another teammate because, you know, that seems helpful. It's going to save their life and uh, possibly put mine at risk. And everybody just continued running away. So at the end of it, I... I gained nothing, like I didn't extinguish anybody, and I still died, which really kind of annoyed me. But um, I continued playing. This isn't one of my best games. I don't really play much um, Pyro at all, so I don't really play um, and know how to play, I guess. And I've always been trying to look for tips on how I can get better at Pyro, and there isn't really that I can see. So if you do want some advice on playing Pyro, just... Be sure to stay behind everybody, practice your reflects, timing your reflects is the most important thing ever and pyros and, not pyros, soldiers and demo man will never come near you if you can deflect their rockets and uh, grenades. Like uh, this soldier, um, when we was defending, or when we were defending um, and they were uh, attacking, well, he just didn't shoot rockets at me because he knew that I would be able to deflect them and he wouldn't be able to do anything and at most it'd probably uh, injure his team and himself a lot more than it would hurt me. So he just sort of stopped shooting rockets at me, which is really nice actually because it, it's sort of like one less thing to worry about. You don't have to worry about a soldier shooting rockets at you or a demo man uh, throwing stickies or grenades at you because you know that you can get rid of them if he does and then after a while he'll learn or she'll learn if uh, it's a girl gamer. Uh, <laughs> They will learn that it's not a wise move, and it's just end up getting them gonna going to end up getting themselves killed. But anyway, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Basically, good guy pyro, not something that I'll plan on doing in the future. Um, we have our last game of the wire play tournament tomorrow, and then uh, I don't know what I'll be doing from then. Uh, probably just playing usual lobbies and such, but. 
Uh, I do want to try entering a couple of different competitions. We actually entered for the Ready Steady Pan competition, which should be awesome. Um, I also have a litre bottle of strawberry milkshake. I found those at Morrison's today, and I, 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 uh, yeah, speechless, absolutely speechless. I didn't know these existed, so now I'm sat staring at this litre bottle of strawberry milkshake, which I'm going to drink as soon as we end this. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, listening, sharing, subscribing. I hit 1,190 subscribers earlier, so I want to say a big thank you for that. Thanks for always watching my videos and being awesome subscribers, and I will see you all in the next one.